Hey guys, welcome back. We see a hardwood floor. Ripped out the carpet. And I bought some pill and stick flooring because that carpet being at the trailer was sitting for a while it's got that smell that won't go away and I had little trees hanging in this thing and it just will not quit so I pulled the carpet out I'm gonna do the same in the other uh, side and I got some like I said I got some nice wood hardwood pill and stick type stuff make it easier to clean and all that but I wanted to show you what today's project is yesterday we had the horse show and today I'm doing this and I thought that they had that carpet glued down. No, there's like billions of staples. I'm like, there's more staples in this than the carpet that I had in the house. I pulled out and put wood flooring down. So, figure I'd share today's project. Um, I probably won't get the flooring in today because it's already, let's see, two o'clock. And yeah, so, but at least hope get the, I want to get the staples pulled, get some, get the floor primed. In my other trailer, I had deck sealer and I put that down and when I replace the sides, I use that on the sides to help protect the wood. So I'll put some primer down and probably, I don't need any deck sealing on this because horses won't be in this little tiny spot. If they did, if they were in a tiny spot, that that might be a problem. But you never know what Clyde, he might decide, hey, I want to go in there. So, yep, today's project. And also, if you guys have any uh, ideas of what I can use in here, I got my saddle rack in pieces. I'm gonna sand it down and paint it. So, if you guys have any ideas on how to make better storage or something, let me know. Because I'm all ears for that. Instead of just setting it on the floor and my fly spray rolled around and had my bucket rolling around. Well guys, I got it painted after the five million staples. Um, I got those pulled. I should have sanded it and cleaned it and vacuumed it, but I said I'm tired of pulling staples, so I'm not sanding or vacuuming this. So I swept it the best I could, and that's that. So I'll let this dry. And then if it doesn't need another coat, I'll just put that wood down, that flooring. You're probably thinking, man, she did a good job, didn't get any on the walls. I pushed them in. They push in. But my dad used to be a self-employed painter, so he taught me all the tips and tip, tips and tricks of how to paint without using painter tape or anything like that. So even if the walls didn't push in, I know it can paint it without getting it all over the walls. So I will keep you guys updated. Stay tuned.